to talk about today? Yeah, I thought today we would start um, with close encounters of the first kind. So the next case I'd like to talk about is uh, Paul Trent. Oh, Paul Trent. And the yeah. pho photographs that he took in uh, McMinnville, Oregon. A lot of people know the pictures. I mean, people are into UFOs. And I know his pictures, but I, don't, I never remember the names. On uh, May 11th in 1950, at about 7.30 p.m., he photographed a UFO in the backyard of his farmhouse, which is about 11 miles southwest of McMinnville, Oregon. His wife was walking back to the house after feeding the chickens mm -hmm. <laughs> and the rabbits, and she saw the object in the sky. So she went back to the house and yelled for her husband to come out. He ran out and saw the object and ran then back ran back in and grabbed the, the, the camera. camera. The way she described it was that it was flying silently, that it was bronze on the top and silver on the bottom. Bronze it was, on top. That's the first time I hear somebody describing, usually it's silver or right, mirrorless right. or no color. And then there's the all the Lazar description where it's like earth and texturized. So, so and this bronze, like, yeah, she yeah this jewelry. particular one was was two tone, oh, and uh, tone. <laughs> and she said it was about the size of a very large parachute. A parachute, like a like a you know like a World War Two. Oh, uh, the size, the size, yeah, the, the size of the okay, of okay. the object right, right, right. was about the size of a very large, like a World War Two parachute. Right. Okay, like a silk parachute for so the like, young ones that are watching us, like you know, think. Call of Duty, <laughs> right? But but, but, the, but the, the 1950s version, World 1950s, War II. Yeah. Like I said, he ran back to the house and he grabbed his camera, which was a um, Universal Roamer camera. Oh, see, there's his camera right there, and he's posing here in this picture for Life magazine, because see? this was a very very famous case. So he said when he ran back outside that the object was moving away and he quickly uh, snapped two photographs two photos and he said it was on the left of the garage and to the right of the bottom of the mountain range off in the distance i don't know i've never been to their house well i have a map here <laughs> oh, if you, you want to see <laughs> yeah. uh, he, he was running to keep it in uh in frame so he took the first photo okay and then as it was moving away he didn't want to lose sight of it so he ran a short distance and took the second photo all oh, for the focus and he got a different angle of the object so i'm going to show you what the object this is what he first saw right? okay so here's their pretty clear too here's their uh it's really sharp right for the... so this is the side of the garage here this is a I don't know if it's a water tank. Yeah, I'm not it really like sure. A water tank. It might be the oil tank too. Whatever. It could be an oil tank, yeah. but I, I have a feeling it was a water tank. Um, you can see the mountain range off in the background and the object right here, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the first angle he took a picture from. Then he took the second photo. Like I said, he ran a little bit forward. Oh, I see. And he took the second. And, oh. and this photo shows it Decent. on a horizontal plane. Like the other, the other photograph was it was the object was higher, and it was tilted on an angle. So the this was the second pictures. second photo he took, and you can see it's yeah, it's, it's fading away because I right. think it's going but through the. But here's an enlargement. Oh wow! And darkened, you can see that there's a conical tower of some sort on the top of it. Yeah, that we didn't right? see before. That you couldn't see from the other angle because you were looking. Under at a, more at, oh, yeah. at the bottom, pretty right. much. Well, the perspective and changes. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So this was an enlargement of that particular photo, and it was darkened a little bit, so you can see the object better. He took two photographs. All right, and these photos were were analyzed by Project Blue Book. Oh, they were. They were. Yes, they were. Oh, yeah, because they went back to all those old uh, cases, and right. they they, yeah, they looked right. at all we the original about it evidence last, uh, last time. Yeah. Um, before they started collecting anything, yeah. they, they went back and took a look at uh, some of the very good cases that had been unexplained. These particular photos have been scrutinized over the years by many uh, researchers. Let me ask you something, if you, if you know, you know, Project Blue Book, 
they worked on those cases blah 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 <clears throat> do those people that took those pictures submitted their negatives or just the photos from it is there neg I, I mean ultimate question is do we still have negatives of those well uh, his negatives his negatives were taken by the air force okay so they do but i read an article where it says years later his negatives were returned whether oh. whether they had been retouched or not is another story altogether oh, yeah true but he did receive them back but it was several years later yeah so they kept the negatives for a while but these two photos were analyzed uh, quite extensively by a lot of researchers and they still remain um, some of the best ones some of the best yeah, ones I mean the, some the of the quality, best ones ever taken the quality I see even from even, that time exactly from that camera from point and shoot going out taking the camera quickly it's really good I right. mean, of course, you have the grain of the film that at the time, you, you know, you didn't, they, didn't they, have color. They've done analysis did, on these, um, computer analysis on these to see if there's any wires, you know, right, that they're right. suspending from a wire or or if, you know, they were objects, small objects thrown right, by someone and fake. then photographed. Right. So they've been under scrutiny um, under those particular um, conditions. Yeah. And they determined that Neither one nothing, of them were yeah. the case. Interestingly, a third photo showed up. Showed up. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 which shows it from a different angle. This third photo shows the object from a different angle, tilted so that you can see the entire the top. This oh, is that's the top. the top. This is the entire top of the object. So this third photo showed up. But originally, there were only two. So in this third photo, I want you to take a look at this bush. That bush that wasn't there before. No, the bush was there. Was it? However, okay. This is oh. the first photograph that was taken. You mean? You see the bush? Right. It's been, so the, it came back a different time. It either came back or they're fake. It either came back or they're or fake. fake. Because as you can see in this photograph here. The bush they, is completely they, nude. Right. This is photograph three up here. This is photograph one. And you can see that the bush is pretty much right. bare in photograph one and two. Right. And in it's three, pretty... it's in full bloom. And then there's a photograph here of, of their of their son right. standing on a, a ladder. And you can see the bush in the background is fully in bloom. So there's some controversy there that that puts into question the veracity of these photographs. Well, when I look at picture three, it looks so much clearer than the other ones. I think that, that you know what I mean. It looks like almost well. I think too pretty. This particular photo may have been uh, processed in a you know somebody oh, no, processed no, for sure. on a it, computer it, it, or something it's been like processed. that. This is I, not. This is not the original. Right. No, because I can tell, uh, you know, it's black and white, obviously. I can tell the, the compression in the clouds. Right. I can, you know, the different colors. You can see that they've, that they've darkened right. it. And, and you can almost kind of see some color in here, which means they... You but know, what bothers me in this picture, you see how crisp the water tank is? Yeah. Look at those vines behind. They're starting to be a blurry. These? Yeah, on the right. On the right, the little... These? Yeah. This is like almost... And to me, just at first sight, it looks like the the UFO is sharper than those when it should be a bit blurrier than those bush. Yeah, those These plants. Bushes. Yeah. These bushes actually look more in focus than that. Yeah, but I can tell. I mean, well, you know this, what I'm saying? It would the, be, they, to to it me, can. this object looks like it's in between this bush and those bushes, like somewhere in the middle. Right, when it should right? this really looks... Further let's back. look at the because this is far back i mean yeah well this is a bad photo here it almost well, looks like a that, xerox yeah or that's the overexposure right? doesn't it look like a xerox to you yeah well this so you can see why it's yeah you know it's a controversial photo you know when originally you wires, said there were yeah, only those wires were still in there those right? wires were yeah. there okay those wires were there okay so that hasn't changed 
So the possibility is they're suspended from the wire. There's wires in the background here too, see? Yeah, I see a lot. See well, that's one? one thing that bothers me too on the first picture is you, uh, this one. Oh, this one. This is the enlargement. Yeah, so you have you have the line, you have the scratches on the negative. Right. It could be fishing line. I mean, anything. I don't know. But like, like I said uh, before, they did do computer analysis right, right, of right. these, and it would show up as connected to this. Right. But another um, computer analysis that was done, um, I don't know what it's called, but it shows that based on the the light like they can change the color of the light on the, on the photograph okay and they can determine it's a three-dimensional object and how oh. far away and how large it is because based on the light reflecting off of every other object like this well off the roof yeah you know off of the other things the the direction oh, oh, the direction the of direction. the sunlight yes yes, yes. The, light know, the direction of the light on right. on on the object they can tell that, right. that it was a three-dimensional object and they can estimate the size and distance based on those measurements. But I thought we'd talk about this case because... That's interesting. Know, it, yeah, there's some controversy. There. Yeah, there's some controversy. Um, even though, you know, it's one of the best cases, there's no physical proof right. except a photograph. And like we all know, you can fake a photograph. Yeah. So this is a map of their farm. It's actually an old aerial photograph that's been superimposed slept, slept on over a Google Earth um, so that you can kind of get an idea of what the surrounding uh, area is like. This is their farm right here. And I'm not sure, but I think the photo was taken this direction. Now, something very interesting. Oh, wow. Oh. Something very interesting. The Paul Trent photo, the second one that was taken that shows the UFO from a horizontal plane. I'm going to tell you something you don't know about. You know. Okay. Minute. Go All ahead. Right. I'll let you finish. There, there's some sort of tower um, in the photograph mm -hmm. on on the top of the UFO. Right. And there was actually another case in France that. Um, Can you say that name? Uh, Rowing. No. It's no? Okay. okay. Say it. Rouen. Rouen. France. And you want to know? That's where I was born. Okay. Normandy. Now born everyone Normandy. knows. Right. So there was a, um, a gun camera photo taken from uh, the French Air Force. What, what do you call a gun camera? Some uh, placed on a, on a plane, it, like, like a gun? It's, it's a, right. Gun, it's it points a... to where the gun is going to shoot. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. All right. And they generally take pictures of what they're going to shoot down. <laughs> hey, hey, look. <laughs> we got yeah, that look, effort, we got the yeah. proof. So as you can see in the, in this side by side comparison, they're not identical. No, but they're very. But similar. they're very similar in shape. This happened in March Whoa. of 1954. There's a controversy about the date because it's listed twice. It's listed as March 1954 and also as March 1957, and no one knows for sure what the actual date is. And also, if you or someone you know has some evidence stories evidence photographs uh, hard evidence right we're willing to uh hear what you have to say and what you might have to show right right, right. uh and i think that's pretty much it thank you very right. much and thank and you check back and see our next episode and you know we're doing this stupid don't thing forget to don't subscribe. forget to subscribe please please and leave yeah. leave a comment yeah leave a nice comment thank a you a nice one <laughs>